Hello engineers and welcome back to Civil Nirman. See, before we jump into the uh, design analysis of the pipe rack part, I want you to understand the project flow in oil and gas industry how this usually works. Right? So for your understanding, I have divided all the projects uh, project workflow in the total 9 steps. So we will understand each of these segments one by one. Uh, as a summary so that you will get an idea how the project is executed by the uh, multinational firms in oil and gas industry right so so the first segment that will be start uh, that will be in the form of the project kickoff all right so basically uh, the project begins with the with a meeting between all the key engineering disciplines which includes the piping civil structure teams ug teams electrical and instrument teams with the mechanical and process as well right now this particular is to align the objectives timelines and initial data requirements that required for a particular project the next important phase is the basic engineering and design phase see during this particular phase the piping team develops an initial layout and estimate the pipe sizes routes and general arrangement they also identify the primary and secondary lines and the preliminary loads on the structure so this will decide uh, this particular layout will decide your pipe rack geometry and the overall plant layout right in the similar manner the electrical and instrument team provides the data on the cable tray layouts equipment placements and other specific electrical and instrument disciplines uh, equipment or machinery requirements next important phase is the preliminary data submission see the piping team submits the estimated loads and preliminary layout data to the civil and structure teams then after this data includes the estimated pipe weights insulation contents and any thermal expansion or contraction allowances right so the civil and structure teams use this data to create the primary designs for the foundation and structural members of the pipe rack so that's the uh, segment for the preliminary data submission part in the next phase we have development of the preliminary drawings using the estimated loads and initial input the civil and structure teams create the preliminary drawings including the foundation design uh, it can be open foundation or pile foundation and the structural member sizes and these drawings are used to estimate the bill of quantities for the material required as well in the next phase we have load data verification and adjustment see as more accurate data becomes available the piping and stress team refine their load estimates and provide the updated information to the civil and structural teams and this iterative process continues similarly with the ongoing collaboration and regular updates to ensure all the disciplines are working with the most accurate data in order to complete a particular project and then comes the detailed design phase so once sufficient data is available the project moves into the detailed design phase where the civil and structural team finalize the foundation designs structural member sizes and construction drawings all the necessary safety regularity and future expansion requirements are also taken into the account then we have the process of construction documentation where final construction documents including the detailed drawings and specifications are prepared and issued to the construction team in order to execute the construction process on site next we have project execution and construction so in this particular phase the construction team begins the building the pipe rack based on the finalized design documents the engineering teams continue to provide their support as needed on site as well resolving any issues that arises during the construction and the last important point is the quality assurance and the final review so the project undergoes the quality assurance checks and a final review to ensure it meet all the safety regularity and the plant requirements its operational requirements as well right so i hope this particular nine steps give you the overall idea of how accurately how exactly the project works in the engineering discipline in an engineering form 
right so usually the early design stage uh, the basic engineering and design phase the piping layout and support designs are still in the early stage and the piping stress team which is responsible for analyzing the loads on pipe they doesn't have all the details needed to provide precise loading data to the civil and structure team see as the project progress according to the schedule the piping team must provide the initial input data to the civil and structure team even if it's based on the estimated or the preliminary data and then based on that the piping and stress teams sh should ensure that their input data consider future requirements such as additional space for potential expansion any updates or changes to the design that will be provided with the future submission if required similarly the estimated load provided by the piping and stress teams are will be used to create a preliminary design including the size of the foundation and structural members as i suggest right so based on the preliminary load data provided during the bd phase that should be detailed enough to create initial drawings for the installation of your pile form foundation or the open foundation whatever the requirement a project particular project have right so this is the overall summary right in the upcoming session we will understand what are the most important inputs that you will be required from the other disciplines like piping electrical and instrument and what points you need to take care before jumping into the project part so stay tuned for the next session